This video will describe and demonstrate the process of removing, reconnecting, and adjusting the throttle and cruise control cables on a Porsche 944. The throttle and cruise control cables attach to the accelerator pedal linkage tucked up under the dash inside the car, and they exit the firewall into the engine bay next to the brake booster. The throttle cable comes straight down and attaches to the bracket that sits atop the intake manifold, and the cruise control cable goes across the engine over to the passenger side and attaches to the bracket on the cruise control servo. If you're replacing your throttle cam or performing any work on the car that involves removing the intake manifold, you'll need to disconnect the throttle cable and set it to the side. To do so, you'll first need to rotate the throttle cam to a wide open position and then route the cable end out, either up or down from the cam and slip it out of the way. The cable is secured to the bracket with a jam nut setup and to remove it, all you need to do is loosen one of the 13 millimeter nuts, and then you can completely loosen and remove the outside nut, slide the cable sheath back, and remove the cable from the notch in the bracket. The throttle cable is essentially installed in the reverse order, so go ahead and thread the cable through the notch in the bracket, along with the cable sheath, and install the outside nut finger tight. Then open the throttle cam to a wide open position, wrap the cable around, and insert the cable end into the notch in the cam. Then release the cam and ensure that the cable is properly seated, and now you can prepare to adjust the cable. Adjusting the throttle cable involves removing the slack from this particular span of the cable. When you depress on the accelerator pedal, it pulls the cable and turns the throttle cam. The throttle cam opens the butterfly valve inside the throttle body, but it also activates the throttle position switch down below. And to prevent a delay in the throttle response, we'll just take up this slack. If it's too tight though, it could be activating that throttle position switch and result in a high idle condition. So you want to make sure that when you press on the cable or when you step on the accelerator that you can hear that click. And if you don't hear the click, it's probably too tight. So this is a little bit too loose. And what we'll do is we'll want to pull the sheathing back. So we'll loosen up the front nut to slide things back, and then we'll tighten up this one behind it. That's too tight. There we go. And the slack is now removed, and we can lock these down. These are a 13 millimeter nut. And the final step is to get inside the vehicle and press on the accelerator and ensure that you can hear the click as well. And then we can reconnect our throttle position switch. Most work on the 944 can be performed with the cruise control cable in place. However, if you decide you'd like to disconnect it or if you're working on the cruise control servo, you'll need to disconnect the line and remove the cable. In this case, it is secured to a pivot arm on the servo by a metal retaining clip, and you can push that spring clip off to the left with a screwdriver and remove the cable that way, or you can simply twist the cable end down and off of the control arm. At that point, the cable sheath can be removed by loosening the interior 13 millimeter nut. Then you can remove the outside nut from the fitting, slide back the sheath, and remove the cable from the notch in the bracket. Cable installation is the reverse of removal, so go ahead and slide the cable through the notch in the bracket along with the cable sheath. Install the outside nut finger tight. Push the cable end onto the ball joint on the control arm, and then install the retaining clip and everything will be secure and ready for adjustment. With the throttle cable properly adjusted, you can begin to adjust the cruise control cable, which also involves removing the little bit of slack in the line. The cruise control cable is attached to a linkage behind the dash that actuates the accelerator pedal and therefore the throttle cable. The cruise control servo will adjust the throttle position forward and back to maintain the speed set by the controls in the car. So again, you can adjust the jam nut on the cable sheath to remove the slack and then tighten down the inside nut. The slack can be tested by moving the servo control arm in a counterclockwise direction. And in doing so, you should see the throttle cam opening and closing based upon the position of the arm. You want to ensure that the cable is not over tightened by listening for the click of the throttle position switch 
below the throttle body as you modulate the arm back and forth. With the slack removed, you can go ahead and lock down the jam nut on the cable sheath. Now that the throttle and cruise control cables are properly adjusted, you can go ahead and start the car, check the idle condition and the cruise control operation, and make any necessary adjustments.